Hello everyone, in this video we are going to work in Active Directory and we will uh, we will create a guest ID. Now in order to create a guest ID, what we need to do is we need to go into Azure Active Directory and within Azure Active Directory uh, we will, uh, and in the previous video we created an Active Directory user and in this video we are going to create a guest ID. Now guest ID is an account in which uh, we can uh, we can invite any users from any other uh, domain, so a Gmail user, Hotmail user, a Yahoo mail user, or any other user and to join in our active directory now the advantage of this is that we don't have to manage the user credentials user will use his own uh, his own user user id and password and uh, and normally uh, the user created in active directory using new user here will have more access in active directory in in the azure cloud as compared to the guest access so guest access is automatically is a restricted access and this is only given to just like the word guest temporary users uh, so here uh, I'm going to create a new guest ID. Now, when you create a guest new guest ID, you need to provide your full email address from where you are connecting from. So, I'm going to create a username. Uh, a username, uh, let's say. So, I'm using uh, this uh, website called Fake Mail, where we can uh, use a fake mail ID. So, here I'm going to create this user. Uh, so, I'm using this service just to uh, just to simulate uh, any email address that can can be registered as a guest user. Um, you can use your Gmail ID as well. So. Here I'm going to go into provide the name of the user and then I'm going to provide his complete email address. So first of all here let me copy this so that I don't have to type here and so this is the first name and this is the last name. So we provided this. Now I need to provide the email address. Uh, now the, the the good thing about fake mail is you don't have to create any ID, any account. It's just a fake mail. It will you will be able to receive emails. And uh, so in this we need this because when you create this invite, you will the user will receive an invitation message, and you will user will have to uh, complete the authentication on uh, using his own username and password. So here, this is uh, an invite from Azure Active Directory and so I'm going to click invite so here we can set users and uh, the roles uh, assignment as well but here I'm not going to use that I just sent that invite so when I send the invite so first of all let's look into this here within the users profile I will be able to see uh, that if the user has accepted the invite so here it just says uh, that the user is uh, invitation ex in invitation uh, invitation accepted uh, yes or no so here it says uh, no uh, when we will accept the invitation then it will say yes here so I'm going to go back to the email and see that if uh, if there is any uh, email so we just received an email which is a default directory invitation if I go to this it's just saying that you need to uh, you need to basically go in here uh, the message was uh, this is an invite from Azure AD this is the message we sent and here what you need to do is you need to accept the invite so I'm going to accept the invite this will happen exactly in the same manner if you use your uh, Gmail account as well so in this case uh, the invitation so it will take the user to the login the portal login and in here uh, this user need to use his password his own username and password so I'm going to go back to user the mailbox okay uh, so I'm gonna go back here with the users mailbox uh, so we got the invite verify email address so I'm gonna copy his password so copy this password because that's the user password in your case uh, so here uh, create a password actually the user need to create a password not need to use the password so here I'm going to use my own password and create and we will verify the we will be asked to verif verification code that is part of the other email and and going down we will copy this and going to so where is it it's this one except the okay hold on I think I removed so here and finish so now user is able to create his own id with his own password uh, and, and this will be kept in users uh, users own domain or his own organization so it is setting up the new account and if i go back to active directory and refresh this so if i refresh this uh, since the invitation was accepted so this should change to yes 
so just like any other account normal account we can uh, we can add all of these uh, all of the we can add all of this information for for the user as well so in this case still not accept it uh, let's see so here yeah so the user needs to accept and in this case now if we go and see refresh so this is here it says inter external active directory users so in the active directory it would say internal but here it's saying external so now user is logging into our portal with uh, basically no access so there is no applications uh, provided access provided for this user so and this is uh, this is the type of portal user will be carrying now, uh, in order to provide access to this user, uh, what we need to do, it is done exactly in the same manner. So here, let me try again, and otherwise we can we can check that out again in a few minutes. Uh, so, or I can go back to users, and then come back to, actually, so come back to the same user. And see that if that invitation is accepted yes so here we just wanted to sh make sure the invitation is accepted okay uh, you can also reset the password from here you can revoke session you can revoke session meaning if the user is logged into portal you can revoke right from here you can delete the user as well uh, you can also give a feedback uh, so here uh, so this feedback I think this is for the Azure the use of services uh, so now let's see that if you how can you give access to this user since it's a guest user uh, what we can do is it's exactly done in the same way as you uh, provide access to the user so for example for this database I can go to this database but databases are actually part of the SQL server so you need to go to that server so for example if I, I can show you here if I go to a database database doesn't have IAM access or Active Directory uh, access uh, in this way database access is controlled by the SQL server so I'm gonna go back to home and here I can see this is a database and this is a SQL server and within SQL server SQL server is basically like a VM uh, you can go to SQL server so in this case I'm gonna go to IAM and provide access so again we can go to add role assignment for this user and uh, we are going to make him owner of this uh, owner of this database and uh, within the users we can go down and find our new guest user and save so user have access to this resource and uh, so now we can go back to user here uh, so where is the user logged in I think user is logged in here I'm gonna try and refresh this and see if the user has any access mm. So here, uh, most probably, user need to log in again. So now, user has access. If I go into, uh, so this is the main user. So okay, so 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 far uh, we don't see that application here, and where is that access? Okay, hold on. So what we can try is we can log into the portal. So we can log into the portal with this user, because that's the that's where the user can set up access. So. So now we are logged in with this user in order to see the Azure resource. Uh, now we can uh, see here, go to all resources. Okay, and let's see, SQL server. We did provide him access. I think we saved it as well or probably we might not because the it's because the access is not replicated yet so sometime it would just take a few minutes uh, I'll go back and recheck the access so this is the server and role assignment is done the user is the owner 
so that's the owner uh, at the same time what we'll do we'll wait for a few minutes and we, we will provide this user with an access to a, a virtual machine So here I'm going, going to one of the virtual machines and with the virtual machine we can provide him with the access to so IAM identity and access management we can assign him a role so now we need to assign a role add role assignment and make him owner and provide him access so once the access is assigned it's better to re-log in one time uh, we can go to so here Ali is logged in so I'm gonna kick out Ali and log in with the guest user account so guest user account So let's see if we are able to log in to this account um, so sometimes this access uh, we need to be a little bit patient so this time okay so, so this is Dave logged in we're not logged still logged in with that uh, other users account so I'm gonna wait here for a few moments and see um, let's see if we can log in here and so I'm gonna go to this user and we are going to use the password so let's see if we can log in with the user and see if the user has access so most probably so now we have access and we can go to the virtual machine and in the virtual machine user doesn't have the access um, that's strange uh, maybe it might be because of so here it's clear that the user has access uh, I will wait for a few uh, minutes and then we will check back again that if the user is able to get access here the role assignment was successful so there shouldn't be any issues uh, with the with the way we assign the access it's just that it might take a little bit of time to see that if the user will be able to access okay sorry about that I realized uh, actually, oh, all the time I make this mistake everything is fine all the access is fine uh, but here when we are logged in here we need to switch the directory I forgot to switch the directory because here it's trying to it's it's trying to go into this domain the user's own domain uh, but here what I need to do is I need to change switch this directory to our domain so here we can see the default directory and his uh, so by default is user's own domain is selected I need to select the default directory uh, from where the invitation went to uh, this is a common so it's good that this is recorded so you can you can have a look that look at it look I mean you can uh, now also if you're stuck you, you will know that if uh, that if the wrong directory is selected so within SQL server I can see that the SQL server is assigned to the user and at the same time if I go to all his resources so we should be able to find two resources that are provided to this guest user uh, so guest user has now access to the databases plus the database as well so these other uh, these, these databases are also part of since this SQL server for that reason the user will also go so we give user this SQL server user is also able to access the databases and the VMs as well so here just remember that whenever you create a user and log in with a guest user always you need to make sure that the uh, you need to switch the directory thank you for watching this video and I will see you in another video